Viscous lidocaine is a medication used to help with pain and discomfort in the throat and mouth. It can also numb the lining of the mouth and throat before medical or dental procedures, like dental impressions, to make them more comfortable. This numbing effect helps to prevent the gag reflex, which can make the procedure more difficult. Lidocaine belongs to a class of drugs known as local anesthetics. It is important to follow the recommended dosage and timing for the best results. Before using lidocaine, make sure to read the patient information leaflet provided by your pharmacist. It's essential to shake the bottle well before each dose and measure the dose carefully using a special measuring device or spoon. Do not mix it with other liquids or food unless directed by your doctor. This medication is usually used as needed for pain or soreness. For mouth pain, swish the dose in your mouth and then spit it out. If you have a sore throat, gargle with the medication and then swallow or spit it out as directed by your doctor. If you have irritation of the esophagus, swallow the dose as directed by your doctor. Children should not swallow this medication unless directed by their doctor. The dosage of lidocaine is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. For children, the dosage is also based on age and weight. It's important not to increase your dose or use this drug more often or for longer than prescribed, as it can increase your risk of side effects. For infants and children younger than 3 years, carefully measure the prescribed dose and apply it to the affected area with a cotton swab. Wait at least 3 hours before giving the next dose. It's important to note that lidocaine numbs the mouth and throat, which may make swallowing difficult and increase your risk of swallowing the wrong way or choking. Avoid chewing gum or eating for one hour after using this product while your mouth or throat is numb. If you are using this product before certain procedures, inform your doctor if the area does not feel numb or the numbness does not go away. And if you are using this product to relieve pain or discomfort, tell your doctor if your condition lasts or gets worse. Some people may experience mild nausea, stinging, or burning when using lidocaine HCL 2% mucosal solution oral topical anesthetics. However, most people do not have serious side effects from this medication. It's important to be aware that using too much of this medication or being very sensitive to its effects can lead to very serious side effects such as dizziness, slow breathing, mental changes, shaking, seizures, vision changes, fainting, and more. If you experience any of these serious side effects, it's important to stop using the medication and seek medical help immediately. While it's rare, a serious allergic reaction to this drug can occur. If you notice symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice any other effects, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. As always, if you experience any side effects, it's crucial to seek medical advice. In the US, you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088, and in Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. It's important to note that using this medication on children younger than 3 years old has led to serious, and sometimes fatal, side effects such as seizures and slowed or stopped heart. If your child is prescribed this medication, be sure to carefully follow the doctor's instructions. Do not increase the dosage or use it more frequently than directed. Additionally, do not use this medication to treat teething pain in infants and young children unless specifically instructed by the doctor. It's best to keep this product in a safe place where children cannot access it, and if you have any concerns or questions, it's always a good idea to consult with your doctor. Before using lidocaine, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you have any allergies, as this product may contain ingredients that can cause allergic reactions. You should also inform your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have cuts, sores, or bleeding in the mouth or throat, heart problems, kidney disease, liver disease, or a certain blood disorder. Using this medication may make you feel dizzy, drowsy, or cause vision problems, especially if you use too much of it or are very sensitive to its effects. It's important to be cautious when using alcohol or marijuana, as they can increase these effects. Do not drive or operate machinery until you know how this medication affects you. It's also important to inform your doctor if you are using marijuana. Before undergoing surgery, make sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. 
It's important to note that children may be more sensitive to the side effects of this drug, especially dizziness and drowsiness. If you are pregnant, you should only use this medication if clearly needed. Discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. Similarly, if you are breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this medication. It's important to be aware that lidocaine HCL 2% mucosal solution oral topical anesthetics may interact with other medications, potentially affecting their effectiveness or increasing the risk of serious side effects. Be sure to keep a record of all the products you use, including prescription and over-the-counter drugs, as well as herbal products, and share this information with your doctor and pharmacist. Always consult with your doctor before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. If you are using other lidocaine products concurrently with this medication, it's crucial to inform your doctor or pharmacist, as this may heighten the risk of serious side effects. If you suspect an overdose of lidocaine HCL 2% mucosal solution oral topical anesthetics and notice serious symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, you can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include changes in vision or hearing, severe dizziness or drowsiness, fainting, loss of consciousness, shaking, seizures, slow or irregular heartbeat, and slow or shallow breathing. It's important not to share this medication with others. This medication has been prescribed specifically for your current condition, so it's best not to use it for any other condition unless directed by your doctor. In that case, a different medication may be necessary. Lidocaine HCL 2% mucosal solution oral topical anesthetics is used to relieve pain and discomfort in the mouth and throat. It can be used to numb the lining of the mouth, throat, and stomach before certain medical-slash-dental procedures. This medication works by blocking the signals in the nerves in the affected area. This medication also causes a temporary loss of feeling in the area where it is applied. It should be used as directed by your doctor or dentist. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment. Do not use more of this product, use it more often, or keep using it longer than prescribed by your doctor or dentist. The optimal timing to take this medication is about 15 minutes before the procedure. It's important to store lidocaine HCL 2% mucosal solution oral topical anesthetics at room temperature, away from light and moisture. It should not be frozen and should be kept out of the bathroom. Make sure to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to discarding the product, do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. It's important to properly discard the product and it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.